Let's get down to business. Let's go ahead and look at some balance in Overwatch 2, which isn't exactly balancing. Don't make much sense. For instance, Roadhog, Drucker Queen, and Ana to start off. So Roadhog and JQ have similar abilities, or yeah, basically similar functionality. They both can pull people to them. The difference is Roadhog's hitbox on the hook is massive. Also, I can one-shot Torb. I just messed it up. And that's another crazy part about Roadhog. Another big difference is the combo. You can one-shot people. You can one-shot basically everybody but Bastion as a DPS. And you can one-shot every single healer almost consistently. And you also get a self-heal. We'll discuss that a bit later because JQ also has pseudo self-healing. Now, JQ does not have anywhere near a lenient of a hitbox. Nowhere, nowhere even close is the hitbox that big for JQ. But on Roadhog, I land that hook nine times, like basically ten, ten times out of ten. But if I hook this character from this far, it's like three shots to kill him if they're not even moving. If you're moving, you can deny the, I guess, forward momentum of the of the knife. It won't pull you as far. Roadhog can hook this nerd from even further away. That's the crazy part. And the self healing part is a little insane because JQ for reference, gets like around a thousand healing per game. Roadhog gets like five to six thousand. May gets like a thousand plus, usually like I think twelve hundred to, to two thousand. And Soldier gets around eighteen hundred plus because he can heal himself and others. So for some reason, the character whose passive is entirely built on wounds gets the least healing in the game compared to other characters that also have healing that aren't healers or supports. Little wild. Doesn't make much sense. Another crazy thing is the ultimate. So JQ's ultimate will wound enemies hit. It'll do 100 damage and it will also give you 100 healing per person hit. And it also antis the enemy. Now the anti, the wound, the healing, all that can be cleansed. If you wound somebody and they die, you don't get any healing. If like you, if you wound them with like that ultimate and they die instantly, you get zero of the healing. And wounds also don't necessarily stack. They do, but they don't. Anyway, Ana has a nade that can wound, deal damage, and heal. And it also can boost healing your teammates receive. So that is 60 damage. It antis enemies, not for as long, but still. It's on a 10 second cooldown. You don't need much time of being anti to die in Overwatch. If you get anti for a little bit, you're dead. Like, if you're full HP, right? That's not too much to ask. You land two shots and you have like, you have time to land three shots on a wounded target as just Ana. Imagine a team focusing targets. And the difference is this is not very telegraphed. That is not telegraphed at all. Junker Queen's ultimate is telegraphed so much. It's like a one to two second cast time, which is a big deal. It can be interrupted. It can be, she can die during her ultimate very easily because she's just sitting there like, okay guys, winding up. You're going to get rolled here. And I just don't get the balance there. I do not understand why Ana has an ability that is better than an ultimate. It does less damage, but it can be used every 10 seconds and it can be used for more than one thing. Heal yourself, heal your teammates, damage enemies, and anti them. There's so many uses for it. My ultimate on Junker Queen is just one thing, to deal damage and to wound people. It can be cleanse too. Cleanse has a 15 second cooldown for Kiriko and a 10 second cooldown for Ana. Like, or, or grenade for Anana has a 10 second cooldown. So you can use it more often than, than Kiriko can cleanse it. Like, what the F? And there's, again, there's no telegraph there. So the balance just in that sense alone, it ain't balancing. And Roadhog, man, I, I, I don't understand why a tank can one shot with a seven second cooldown ability that has a massive hitbox that isn't very skillful to land. Like, what is that? That is beyond broken for tanks. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it removes the skill aspect. It's one thing to reward folks for landing a hard ability, but I think a one-shot's still a lot to reward them with for just, like, a, a seven-second ability again. But in his case, it's so lenient. It's so forgiving, and it's skillless now. Like, once, I've, once I saw that hitbox, I'm like, oh, there's no way. Like, no one of this character is easy. Like, no one everyone picks this character whenever they're not doing well on tank. May's not balanced. I forgot. May is a tank, bro. May can get as much mitigation as enemy tanks, May has the ability to go immune and heal herself, and she has utility out the freaking Yzu, a slowing ability, aka CC, an ultimate that CCs like crazy. May should be a freaking tank at this point. She already has 250 HP, and she's already tanky in that sense. Like, just give her a bit more HP, maybe change her ice block a little bit, and make her a tank, and reduce the slow of her left click or something. Because what the F, bro? 
May is ridiculous. If you're playing May, you're basically playing freaking 5v5, but you have two tanks, one DPS, and then two supports. Like, May is so wacky in that regard. And aside from that, I think the uh, the one-shots, the one-shots and whatnot, they don't really fit the game, man. I want to fit that in real quick. Like, one-shots from Widow, one-shots from Hanzo, one-shots from Roadhog, one-shots from Sojourn. It's not fun. And I would even argue that getting one-shot by Zen isn't exactly fun, but I think that Zen is the most skillful one-shot out of all those characters listed. Because he has to land five orbs to body shot you. Five or four. And, and or has to land a mul like multiple headshots to kill you. Every other character I listed, it's a one-tap kill. Roadhog is two-tap technically, but you get the point, bro. It's also less skillful because the hitboxes are massive. So I think that Overwatch has to lock it in because they're not really showing too much prowess, right? They released Joker Queen, who basically does the similar things to two other heroes, and she's not very good. And she's very underwhelming. She's close to being, like, she's fun to play, and she's close to being, like, pretty good, but she needs a, a, a few buffs here and there. And then they released Sojourn and Kiriko, who are broken AF, and I didn't even mention Kiriko. Kiriko's ultimate and her ability, like, everything about Kiriko is broken AF, aside from the wall climb and the shurikens, or the kunais. The fact her ultimate gives you four different buffs, move speed, attack speed, reload speed, and cooldown reduction. Dude, that, that applies to your whole team. Nano does three things. It heals you, initially. It gives you damage reduction, and it makes you do more damage. That applies to one effing person. And Kiriko's ult's just like, F that, bro. Balance doesn't matter. And her ability makes people flat out immune to stuff. If you compare Kiriko's Suzu to Baptiste Immortality, it's a night and day difference. If you want to play a character for Immortality, you don't play Bap. His ability's called Immortality Field. You don't play Bap for Immortality. You play Kiriko. Because Immortality Field doesn't make you immune to getting knocked back. It doesn't make you immune to getting anti. It doesn't make you immune to them just breaking the Immortality Field and killing you. Whereas Suzu cannot be cleansed. It cannot be interrupted aside from, I guess, defense matrix and shields and, and terrain. But it makes you impervious to being knocked around. It can cleanse anti. And you can survive everything in the game for the most part with a simple ability that, that can be applied to everybody on a 15 second cooldown. Whereas Baptiste's Immortality Field... Is on like a 25 second cooldown. So I just want to get the point across that the balance in Overwatch is not in a good state right now. The game would be 10 times more fun if it just made more sense balance wise. But it's just, it's weird we have abilities that do very similar things and ultimates that do very similar things to abilities, but they don't really match up. Like one is just 10 times better in every aspect. And usually it's like, it's not just one ability on one character. Like Sojourn, for instance, Sojourn has a better Widow E. A better she's like sojourn's a better widow that's not what you want you don't want a character who's just like yeah it's the better version of this roadhog is a better version of uh joker queen and kiriko is a better version of baptiste you don't want that that's not what you want bro you want different not just flat out upgrade and that's the issue right now is that overwatch is trying to basically just give you upgrades on heroes and not trying to make new heroes that do different things. I think it's an idea problem. They're, they're running out of ideas. And they're also not trying to balance the game properly. But that's the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment. It helps the channel a ton. I stream at twitch.tv slash Odo. I have a TikTok at dot Odo. And I have two YouTube channels. This one and the other one. I'm not sure what channels is going on. Well, yeah. You have a beautiful day. Catch you later. Peace.